on, Tiffany. Answer your phone. Oh, great. Machine. Hurry up, hurry up. <sighs> Tiffany, it's Cheryl. Uh, look, I, I didn't want to talk to your machine. I needed to talk to you. Call me as soon as you get in. I need to talk to you. It's important. I, I need to find out if you've heard anything from the courtroom. Call me. Come in, Commissioner. Scorpio here, over. Miss Stansbury just made a call. Who'd she call? Did you get a name, over? Someone named Tiffany. That's not much help, over. She wanted to know about the trial. Yeah, well, sorry, Ross, no cigar. Tiffany's her sister, over. Well, maybe we'll have better luck next time. Yeah. Stick with it. Out. <laughs> luck, the man says. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. We haven't had much luck to date. Nothing's working. Including your brain. You got somebody sitting there tapping her phone, and she sits and chit-chats with her sister, and Anna sits in some jail cell twiddling her thumbs. I told you I had a plan. And you just told me that your plan is not working, so why don't you send somebody over there and bring her in, because she's already admitted she was on that balcony. She fired two shots trying to kill Olivia. So what the hell is taking you so long? I can't prove that her bullets hit Olivia. I can't even prove that she fired into the room. Oh, come on, Robert. I just can't buy this damn thing. I can't buy it at all. The bullet that supposedly went through Olivia was so badly damaged it cannot be connected ballistically to any gun whatsoever. And according to you, your ballistic guys are never wrong. Cheryl wouldn't frame Anna. Oh, she, she wouldn't switch guns and replace Anna's and uh, place it back in her room. Oh, no, no, of course. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. I'd like to think that I know the woman. You love the woman! It has nothing to do with it. The that. hell it doesn't have anything to do with it. You know, this whole, this whole equation just doesn't figure for me. There's one thing here that hasn't been factored in, and that is, although she denies it, there was somebody else on the balcony. Whom, pray tell us? Well, when I know that, you'll know it too. In the meantime, it stays in this office, and it doesn't leave here, all right? And that is completely stupid! Stupid or not, it's an order. Look, I am not on your, your payroll, all right? Good thing. Regardless, it's still an order. Not to friends, it isn't an order. And that can break down a friendship. I'm also Anna's friend, and she's in trouble. Big trouble. I didn't expect to see this many people here. Oh, please. I think everybody came just for the uh, side show, you know? It's disgusting. Hey, Anna. You must be so excited. Oh, uh, no. I'm sorry. Never mind. Never mind, Tim. Never mind. Where do you want this, Mr. Baldwin? Okay, I'll put it right there. Yes, right. Scotty Baldwin, great standing again. I hope Jake rips him apart. Uh, it's that stack of papers. Evidence, I think. Well, I'm sure that's what he's going to try to call it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scotty? Surprised to see me? Well, Jake. What's the matter? Get too hot down there in the jungle? Not at all. I can take a little heat. Matter of fact, it's starting to get a little warm around here. Funny. I don't feel it. You will. Session. The Honorable Judge William T. Delaney presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, may I approach the bench? What is it? 
I'd like to present co-counsel for defense, Mr. Jake Meyer. Jake, when did you get back? Good to see you. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, does this mean you'll be haunting our halls once again? No, well, I'm taking one case at a time. Well, I look forward to watching your work. Thank you. May we have the jury brought into the courtroom, please? said, don't turn away, just look at them. It's a tough looking dude. Yeah, scare me. I don't see compassion in one of the bunch. Mr. Baldwin, are the people ready? People are ready, Your Honor. Do you care to make an opening statement? Yes, sir, I do. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my name is Scott Baldwin. You will hear me ask a lot of questions to a lot of different people. But this will be the last time that we get to talk before the trial begins. As Your Honor said, I represent the people, all people, God-fearing, law-abiding people. Now, each and every one of you has been chosen for this solemn duty. Fortunately, it's not a difficult case because the evidence against Anna Duvain Lavery is crystal clear. We will prove three things. That Anna Duvain Lavery wanted Olivia St. John dead, threatened Olivia St. John many times, and shot Olivia St. John over and over again. We will now give you the facts. We will prove beyond any reasonable doubt that the defendant's fingerprints were on the gun that ballistics confirms fired the shots in that room. An unregistered gun, I might add. We will also prove beyond any reasonable doubt that the defendant was holding the gun when Commissioner Scorpio came into the room after hearing the shots. We found Anna Lavery holding the gun over Olivia St. John's bloody body. He's good. Yes, he's very good. There's something else I must say. According to Dr. Monica Quartermain at General Hospital, the victim, Olivia St. John, is in a deep coma, hanging on by a thread, sustained only by life support machines. Now, if this thread should break, the charge will automatically be murder. I despise him. Join the club. There will be no guessing or supposing in this case. We will make it perfectly clear to you as an intelligent, sensitive men and women that I, representing the people, motive and method. Moreover, I will put a number of witnesses on the stand that will testify that they heard the defendant threaten to kill Olivia St. John many times. And then you will finally hear Commissioner Scorpio testify that he was present when Olivia St. John came out of the coma and named that woman. Anna Duvain Lavery as the person who shot Olivia St. John over and over again. Thank you. I think he's about to make his opening statement. Mr. Meyer and Ms. Kennedy, do you wish to make an opening statement for the defense? Your Honor, I... Your wish... Honor, I wonder if uh, we could have a few minutes so that I might confer with my colleague. We will all take a few minutes. The court will reconvene in ten minutes. All rise.